Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse here on Thursday. It is April 28th, 2016. Good look, ra look at race number six. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections. Today's sixth race from Keeneland is a claiming race going for a purse of $24,000. It's for four year olds and upwards, going for a claim price of $16,000. We have a field of nine horses traveling one mile here. Uh, remember, they are starting from the regular finish line and finishing at the 16th pole finish line. So, you know, they'll be using the 16th pole finish line, basically. So it's a short stretch, so remember that also. One mile, they're going here. And I'm going to do Super Fact Key. I'm going to key in on the three-horse Sa Sailor's Creek. A two to one. Gonna keep that horse on top of a super effect key. Gonna go three with the two four five eight for a ten cent super key. It should cost two dollars and forty cents. Bit number three, Sailor's Creek. Two to one. Javier Castellano. Um, this uh, six year old gelding reported as gelding on the thirtieth of September, twenty thirteen. Owned by the Ramses. Uh, uh, trained by Mike Maker. Javier Castellano. Like I said, um, last time out, ran on April the second at Turfway Park. An optional forty claimer. One mile over the uh, over the all weather surface. This horse finished fourth by seven three quarter length said that he got a length off the lead that day early, but, you know, after that was uh, fading uh, in the end portion of the race. That was the horse's first start in the United States in about, mm, uh, in almost uh, a year and, and a few months. But start for that was uh, March the 5th in Barbados, to be exact, uh, in, uh, in the Barbados uh, Gold Cup. This horse finished fourth by five lengths that day. You know, this horse was weakening that day. That was the horse's first start since the Barbados Gold Cup of 2015. This horse uh, finished uh, one that day by one and a quarter lengths. Um, you know, he was driving out that day, really ran very well. And then uh, the start before that was January 17th, 2015 at Gulf Street Park, mile 16th in allowance race, 46,000. First third by length that day. You know, he needed a little bit more. Um, coming, coming back to dirt today, he hasn't run on a dirt, conventional dirt surface in quite a while. Um, it has it has to be before 2014. Um, let me see the exact date to uh, get it up. It has to be before May 17th of 2014. 2014, uh, his last dirt run. On dirt, this horse is 5-1, and one, though. He has one win, um, but none uh, other than that. He has no second or third place finishes. But I think this horse should really win. He's he, he looks like he has a little bit of speed into him. I think he should, uh, if he gets the lead, I think these mile races tend to be more towards speed horses. I think he can go wire to wire. I'm going to go with him 2-1 to one here, coming down to the claim price, so dropping in class. I think this horse, it, it definitely in class-wise, this horse is a, a notch above, above the rest. So to recap my bets for race number six, from Keeneland Racecourse here on, uh, here on this Thursday afternoon. Going to go with the three horse Sailor's Creek. Going to do a super fact key three with the 245A for 10 cents. It's going to cost $2.40. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.